Hello and welcome to the Gothenburg Learning Center. My name is Matt Nielsen and today we'll be talking to you about harvest. Now I know the majority of you have already started harvesting, as have we, obviously with the video playing, um, with cutting some beans and milo last week. And it can always be a fine line between getting that combine set just right, you know, while minimizing loss out the back, but also getting a clean sample. And so what we did when we were setting the combine last week is we went ahead and after the combine went through and looked at about a two to three foot square, uh, square foot area and could determine that we were only losing about, you know, maybe five soybeans, uh, give or take. And then also, you know, looking at that sample, whether it was clean or not, and looking from that picture, we could see that it was fairly clean, you know, maybe some, you know, some stems or some shells here and there, and nothing, nothing too concerning. Um, you're never going to get it perfect, but getting it as close as you can. And also another thing to look at is also the cracking of the seed. And, you know, if you're getting a lot of cracks in it, you, you know, that would definitely be an adjustment. And also with, uh, you know, the clean sample, if you're not getting the cleanest, you know, that would obviously require another adjustment, but just something to, you know, keep in mind. And I know myself, I hate getting out of the combine a hundred times, but definitely doing that due diligence and uh, checking constantly to make sure that the sample is as clean as it can be and as well as uh, avoid cracking and then as well as, uh, you know, minimizing the loss out the back definitely will pay off in the long run. So with that, I thank you guys for tuning in. Have a safe and uh, successful harvest, and we'll see you later.